welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to an anime themed ramen restaurant. This restaurant is in London and it's called Uzumaki. They have very kindly invited me and a friend down to come and try out the menu and also take a look in their brand new gift shop. I haven't looked at the menu, I kind of want it to be a surprise, but we're going for lunch. And I've been to the gym today, so I'm super hungry. And I finally received a bag that I've been waiting for for a few weeks in the post. I'm gonna be wearing it today. It's the uh, Hot Topic Haku bag. The bag is packed, so I just need to go and grab my coat, put my shoes on, and we're gonna head out. We have arrived and I'm literally blown away. It looks so good in here. There's artwork all along the walls. I'm going to show you now. And the tables are really cute as well, the way it's like laid out. Um, I'm really excited to eat. I'm super hungry. I haven't eaten much all day because I've been waiting to eat here. But yeah, the staff were super nice as well. They gave me a goodie bag when I came in. So I'm going to be showing you that later on. But yeah, let's sit down and let's eat. We have the two onigiris, so this is basically it's a triangle of rice wrapped in nori. I've never tried that, I've always wanted to though. Yeah. I see an anime and I'm like, mm, looks so good. The spirited one comes with adamama beans mixed into it. And then the salmon one is pretty much the pirate king meat. This is chicken, it's a leg and tie together. It's cooked in a water bath, then it's been seasoned and deep fried, it's nice and crisp. That sounds good. Time. Uh, the halal uzumaki and the halal naruto made with uh, chicken broth and chicken oh, okay. meat okay difference in here is just really the, the amount of meat and eggs so this one comes okay. with two slices this with four slices and then two, egg, two yeah, yeah, eggs yeah 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 okay egg. apart from that it's pretty much japanese dessert mm -hmm. so these are sweet dough balls you have three of them on a skewer they're yeah. all different colors uh, and they served uh, on a sweet tea sauce okay i want to try this so much <laughs> I'm very intrigued. So the staff just talked us through the whole menu. Everything sounds so tasty. I don't know what I'm gonna order yet. I'm probably gonna go with like a chicken ramen though, I think. Uh, and we're definitely gonna get some starters and desserts as well. These chopstick holders are so cute. Little Nekos, little cats. And they've even got their own um, chopsticks as well. I think I got gifted these in the bag too. So that's pretty cool. This is the drinks menu as well. So I've got loads of anime themed drinks. Got a matcha one there, chocolate, ooh, chocolate. These are more like my style. I think I might get some tea though. I do love a green tea. They've got um, cocktails as well, anime cocktails. Can I please get the spirited onigiri, please? How big is this as well? So that's is it small? about the size of my waist. So it's a leg at a time to remember. Wait, is it one piece or two pieces? It's one piece. <laughs> okay, I'll grab one of them as well, please. Okay. Um, so one of the spirited onigiri, one of those. Yes. And then can I get the um, halal uzumaki sure. ramen, please? Okay. That sounds good. Um, can I have extra egg in it? If not, it's fine. Yeah, of course. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, thank you. I love eggs. <laughs> um, and then to drink, can I please? One extra half, two extra halves, you can have as many as you like. Um, just one extra half, so okay. thank you. But my friend got the Love Breathing Boba, and look, the boba is like hearts at the bottom. It's so cute. I'm gonna try some now. It looks good though, it looks refreshing. Mm. It's really sweet, but it's really good. I like that one. I should have got that one. I should have got it. Why did they get it? Wow. It's exactly how I expected it to be. It looks so good. Got some edaname there as well. What are those that you've got? What are those? Um, what are those? Beef crochets. Beef crochets, nice. 
It looks so good. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. So this is the Spirited Away Onigiri. It's what um, Haku gives to Chihiro when she's crying about her parents. So we're gonna try this now. I've actually never tried this before, so let's see what it's like. Mm. It's like vegetable rice, but the seaweed makes it good. Yeah, no, the seaweed makes it good. So next up we're trying the pirate king meat on the bone. It looks so good. I'm gonna try it now. It looks good though. It, it looks quite big. It's a good chunk of chicken. Mm. That's so good. It's really juicy. You know like when you watch like anime and you look yeah. at the food, it tastes exactly, like that, it tastes really like that. that. Mm. Okay, so I've tried everything now. This was so good. I think this is one of my favorites. Um, and we're gonna try the ramen. It looks super, super juicy. So we got the chicken ramen. Both of us got the chicken ramen actually. Uh, let's try it. So this is the chicken ramen. It's got noodles, it's got egg. Uh, it's got the slices of chicken, spring onions. Let's let's give it a go. Mm. That that is good. I want to try some of the noodles as well, but the broth is so so tasty. Really good. We were literally just saying it's like perfect for the weather. Like when it's cold outside, some good ramen broth. That's what you need. And then I forgot what these are called, but it's like a traditional um, Japanese dessert. So we're going to try that too. The last thing we're going to eat today is a traditional Japanese dessert. I'm going to try it. I'm not like a big dessert fan, so I'm kind of nervous, but I'm, I'm going to try. Okay. Oh, it's like, is it warm? I think you did It's not too sweet actually, it's quite good. Mm. It's quite like subtle tasting. It's nice. Last one. I think I, I definitely prefer these to the mochi. I like, it's got like a tea, a tea sauce that's so really, really good. So, last one. So here is the mini gift shop that's inside the restaurant. It's so cool. They've got so many different figures. I'm gonna take a look at some of them. Let's see what they've got. Got a Naruto figure here. I can see they've also got Dragon Ball. They have Demon Slayer. Some really nice figures though. Got these chibi style figures up here. There is so much. I'll show you like a wider view. They also have these like Tamagotchis that are like anime themed Tamagotchis. They've got a One Piece one, Demon Slayer one. Really cool. These are so cute. They've also got some plushies. Super, super cute. There's so many of them as well. They're so teeny. Very, very cute. Quite a nice selection as well. Loads of different characters. Some of the figures are quite big as well. You've got this one up here. He's very big. 
from loads of different animes as well. Here's some of the Dragon Ball ones as well. But yeah, they do look really good quality. Some more Dragon Ball down here. like an action, action shot there. And you literally just buy them by the front counter. But yeah, there's quite a good selection here. As you can see, they also have some blind boxes. So I'm going to show you those now as well. You can also buy the t-shirts with the logo on it. And you can also buy the chopsticks and the little cats that the chopsticks come on. So, so cute, the little chopstick holders. They're called Lucky Cats. They're only £3.85, that's quite good. Okay, we've got the t-shirts here. And then we've got some blind boxes as well. So we've got the curvy blind boxes. I actually think I got one of these in my goodie bag. So I'll have to do an unboxing of that. But yeah, lo loads of really cool bits here. It's nice, you know, once you've finished your meal to just have a little shop around. These ones are really cute as well. But yeah, they're all, all Bandai. Some more One Piece and Demon Slayer over here. And there's some more figures up there too. From what I know, this is like quite a new thing uh, that they've done here. So I'm sure they'll be adding some more bits to it as well. Some bigger figures up there too. So cool. So it's the day of following my visit to Uzumaki and I really wanted to open up this goodie bag that they gave me and also give you a rundown on the experience as a whole. I'm gonna cover some key points, the food, the atmosphere and the staff. Okay, so number one, the staff. The staff were so, so helpful and so friendly. They even read out the menu for us and told us which dishes they really liked and what they would recommend for us. And they were also really attentive when we were eating, but not too attentive to the point they kept coming over, but they were always around making sure that we were having a really lovely time. So yes, staff, 100%, 10 out of 10. Next up was the atmosphere. So the atmosphere in the restaurant was really, really cool. Obviously when you go in, they've got all the artwork on the walls, which I actually found out was painted by the co-founder and it took him six weeks. Which is insane because when you look at it, I can't even imagine drawing one of the characters, but yeah. Anyway, that's, that's like a bit of a side note. The venue in general really helped to create that atmosphere. It is meant to be an immersive dining experience. Of course, the staff helped with that as well. But another thing was the music. So they had the best music on. So they, they had um, a lot of anime intros, which I thought was really cool because anime intros always get you all hyped up. So it was really nice to have anime music on while we were eating. I think because the staff were so helpful and the venue was so beautiful, even the chairs, like the chairs and the tables, the menu, all of it was just, it was a lot better than I expected. Have been to like a couple of character casts and you do feel a bit let down, but I really didn't feel let down by this experience. Last but not least is the food. So the food was incredible. I'm even thinking about it now. I want to go back like ASAP because the food was so good. Got the uh, chicken ramen, which was incredible. So, so tasty. The broth was perfect, perfect temperature. The taste was amazing. It was honestly 10 out of 10 for the ramen. The sides that we ordered as well were really good. I love the chicken, like the bit of chicken on the bone. It was so tasty. It reminds me of when Chihiro and her mum and her dad go to the village and spirit it away and they start eating all the food. It literally tasted how that food looks. Another good thing as well, um, they do cater to a lot of people. So they had halal options and they also had vegan, vegetarian. There's nothing worse than going to a restaurant and just thinking, you know, I don't know if I can have any of this. There was kind of something for everyone. The only thing that I would say was a downside, I struggle with like bigger portions and there was a lot of food. I did actually take some home and it was eaten. So that was one good thing. You can take your food home if you don't eat it all, but it all did come out together, which was great. Cause obviously I wanted to get, you know, videos of the food and stuff, but it was quite overwhelming when it came out. Cause there was so much food, but overall, food i'm gonna say nine out of ten easy nine out of ten now it's gift bag time we're gonna open up the gift bag that um uzumaki and bandai gave me i can't wait to open it i've seen there's a blind box in there so 
Let's open it. First of all, we have a Spy Family blind box. She is so adorable. I've actually never watched Spy Family. I've heard it's really good. I'm currently watching Seven Deadly Sins. I'm still making my way through that. It's quite a long anime, but I'm definitely gonna give Spy Family a watch at some point. We also got a Kirby and Friends blind box. Love Kirby. The ones you can get are super cute as well. That one's cool. I like the sleepy one too. Sleepy one would be cool. We got the Jester Kirby. <gasps> He's so cute. I love him. Let's open him up. He is super, super cute. They're really good quality as well. Got this really, really cool lanyard with all the branding on it. Probably my favorite part of the goodie bag. I love chopsticks. I have so many different chopsticks and chopstick holders. So there's actually chopsticks in here. Let me show you them. Here's the branded chopsticks. They are so cool. I'll definitely be using these. They also gave me this little chopstick holder. It's so cute. It's a little cat. He looks so derpy. I love him. I'm definitely going to be using this too. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. This is something a bit different to what I usually do. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.